It's the march to the championship. Okay, let's take a look at an 8-9 matchup in the Midwest. Colorado State versus 9 seed Missouri. The 9 seed's the, actually the favorite. Missouri's a three-point favorite in the game. But that's exactly what the power ratings say that the game should be. Now, I think you have to take into account that Dorian Green is banged up for Colorado State. He twisted his ankle again in the Mountain West Conference Tournament. So maybe a shade a little bit to, uh, to Missouri in this spot. But the line hasn't moved. Uh, Missouri's underachieved. Uh, there, it's a very, it's a veteran squad going up against their Colorado State team with five senior starters. Should be a great matchup. No edge on the line, like you said, but I kind of favor Missouri in this spot. I'm Rick Heron for the Line Makers on Sporting News. A 5-12 matchup. They're usually upset prone here. VCU though, they're used to being an 11 or 12. Now they are the five, and they're facing Akron. The Zips are without their star point guard, Alex Abreu. That could be trouble because VCU is the number one team in the country in turning the ball over, creating turnovers for themselves. Shaka Smart's team is excellent on defense, but Akron is as well. They're 33rd in the nation in defense, uh, points for possession. So I look for a very defensive game. Remember, the coach for Akron, Keith Drambot, he was LeBron James's head coach in high school. He knows a little bit about the game. This one's going to be... Very tight to the vest, but VCU pulls it out. The line makers have the game six. That's before Abreu's injury. The game figures more eight and a half, nine now. West action from Salt Lake City. We've got number three seed New Mexico against the 14 seed Harvard. Looks like a, a competitive matchup here and expect to see a low scoring game. We've got a rating differential of about 11 points here, and that's what the number is here at the South Point. But the total is something you might want to look at. 125, you're looking at Harvard, under in six of their last eight games. New Mexico, under in eight of their last 11. Good spot for them here. I think it's better than the side, go under. East region, they give me all the East region games. Maybe it's because I grew up in the Bronx, or maybe they really don't give a shit. Syracuse, Montana. What a fantastic game. Syracuse played well in the Big East tournament. Then they send them about 9,000 miles to play on the West Coast against a pretty good Montana club. Hinkle's third straight trip to the NCAAs. Syracuse opens up about a 13 point favorite, gets bet right up to 14 and a half. I took 14 and a half, then gets bet down to 13, 12 and a half. Now the ratings on this game does figure a little bit higher. We, the line makers have it about 16, but when we sat around, we figured the game's about 13. Now Syracuse is a four seed, Montana to 13. Don't think the 13 can't win. Last time Syracuse was a four, Vermont made them drop their draws and they stuck it to them. They beat them outright. Last year, Ohio University is a, four, a 13 seed. They beat four seed Michigan. Take the points, take the points, and take the points some more. 